Hey guys, it's Stuart here, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to set up a Facebook page in 2022. Obviously, the platform is changing all the time, and there's been a lot of requests from the viewers and subscribers on this channel on how to create a Facebook page in 2022. So today, we're going to show you exactly how to do it step by step. Now, just before we get started with today's tutorial, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And with that said, let's show you how to set up a Facebook page in 2022. So to get started, you just need to log into your Facebook account first and navigate over to the left-hand section where you can see pages. Click on that, and that is going to then take you to the pages section of Facebook. Now, if you can't see that link immediately available, just go to www.facebook.com forward slash pages and that will take you to this part of Facebook as well. And we, what we want to then do is go over to create new page and click on it and that is then going to allow us to get started with creating a new Facebook page in 2022. A couple of quick things to look at here. In order to create the framework of a new page, we need to give the page a name. And in this example, we'll just come up with a quick, easy test one. We want to select the category. So this is the industry that your business or organization is operating in. So for me, I'm in marketing and just come up with a quick description. Perfect. Once you've done all those things, you can get started by scrolling down to the bottom until you see the blue button create page and click on it until it is being created. It may take a couple of seconds just to upload and to come to a completion. And just like that, you have created the framework of your Facebook page. A couple of things have come up now. We can now see that there are images. So we have our profile picture, which is the circle image you can see here, currently occupied by a flag. And we can also see add cover photo to, which is the large image here at the top of the page. When you are looking for specific specs and size recommendations, it's quite easy to find those. On Facebook for the profile picture, you want to make sure it's 170 high and 170 wide. For a cover photo, you want to make sure that it is 820 pixels wide, 312 pixels tall. So coming back to the profile page here, let's add a profile picture and find one that is nice and easy. It fits in quite nicely into the image space and there we go. For a cover photo, let's go for something a little bit more comprehensive. And there we go. Cover photo size is perfect now. It's showing up. If we want to reposition it, we can just click on the drag feature here and that will allow us to pull it across and pull it side to side. But we're quite happy with that now. So we're going to go on to press save. And that is then going to allow us to move to the next step of the business page creation, which is coming up very shortly. And here we go. So this is connecting your Facebook page to WhatsApp. So this allows you to receive messages and get calls as well. And if you're running ads, setting up WhatsApp ads where people can contact you. So in this example, we're not going to set that up. We're just going to work through the other features. So establish your pages identity. We've done all of those things. We've given it a name. We've chosen a category, cover photo description. We now want to go over to the next section, which is uh, the website. So in this example, let's just use the existing website that we have right now. We want to then go on and add location information. And because we operate quite remotely, we just will use a test example here. Okay. 
and there we go. If you don't want to include your location, you can always just go down to my page doesn't have a location and then just exit out of it. And don't worry about accidentally exiting out. Facebook will automatically save the information. If you're a business that has office hours, obviously having hours is quite a handy thing to do. So you can select no hours available, always open, permanently closed, or if you are operating at select times, go here and you can choose the operating hours that your business is running at during particular days of the week. So let's exit out of that one and come back to the next one, which is providing a phone number. And you just need to click on the left hand section here and you can find your country code and then just punch in your phone number. Of course, if your business doesn't have a phone number, you can always select that option. But in this example, we're going to include it and we just go to exit out of it. And don't worry, once again, you'll see down the bottom that your changes have been saved so you can exit out of it. And this is then going to bring us um, back to the final two options. We don't want to link uh, WhatsApp. So just select, this doesn't apply to my page. We just want to now add a call to action button. So this is the button that's going to appear we just exit out quickly up at the top of your page and it's the button that people can use to interact and engage with your business very important that we get it right because it's going to influence how engaged people are going to be and how they're going to best interact with us so let's select add button and look at the options that are available here depending on what your business is best suited for is entirely up to you I would normally recommend call now button, send message button, sign up button, or send email button. So let's use the send message button here. And this will bring up questions which um, will be automatically generated when someone clicks on the, the chat. So let's give a more industry specific example. And there we go. I've got a nice simple one. I'd like to speak to someone about marketing. Thanks. What's the best way to contact you? Let's just leave it at that. So that's then taken us through all of the different steps so far. We can see that a couple of things don't apply to this particular business. And that then gives us two steps left where we can invite our friends to come and like our page and also create a welcome post. So for the invite friends one, it's pretty self-explanatory and I'm not going to go through showing you how to do that. You just click on the button and you can start inviting your friends. It's very easy. If you want to create a welcome post, just select that button here and say, hello everyone and welcome to the page. This post can be customized and varied as much as possible. You can include a photo or a welcome video congratulating people that have discovered your page. This example is going to be now nice and simple. It's just going to include a photo of me and final little message. And then once that's all done, we're just going to select post. And here we go. As you can see, there are a whole range of tools and features that are starting to appear now that we have created the page. Obviously, some of the actions we are not gonna be completing today, like the invite friends one, just due to the privacy of the people I'm connected with on Facebook, and also connecting the WhatsApp as well. But as you can see here, everything else has been set up and established page has a name, a category, a photo, a description, a website link, phone number, call to action button, which you can see up at the top over here. And 
three things which you can customize and add to your business if you want, which is location information, business hours, and also setting your messaging preferences too. So that's a basic overview on how to set up a Facebook page in 2022, everybody. I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button down below and leave a comment as well about anything that you have questions to regarding creating a Facebook page in 2022. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.